Hello again guys, a company reached out to me just a couple of days ago and asked if I'd be interested in taking a look at this. They're calling it the Allegiant VR headset. But let's just open it up, see what it is. I've taken a look at several VR headsets on this channel at this point, so I've got a good point of reference. So here at the top is a VR ShineCon service guide. Literally just put in here information about your product number and your serial number and return information. You have a user manual, should be some useful stuff in there. Although it's a pair of VR goggles, there's not gonna be a huge amount to them. You have a nice little microfiber cloth here in case you need to clean the lenses, a couple of pads, presumably to hold your phone in place in case it's too slick, and then the VR headset, and there you have it. This is the VR headset. Uh, it's quite a bit bigger than any one I've ever had hands on with. And presumably you just grab here, yeah, pop it open. There's a, a little bit of a slit on either end. I would assume you could put your audio cables through here or your USB cables through here. And you can also grab here at the top and just pop it open. And your phone will slide in right here. There's a little bit of a slider thing. There's some adjustment knobs here that you can see moves it in and out. There's an adjustment knob here, which I think moves the nose piece. No, it moves the eyepieces closer together. So as you can kind of see, when I move this, it does move them in and out. So if you've got really wide set eyes or really narrow eyes, you can make it sort of fit however is comfortable for you. And it looks like, I'm not gonna be able to wear it with glasses, but I think you're not really supposed to. You've got adjustments, so you shouldn't have to. Let me just put it on and see. Adjusting, adjusting. Oh, the adjustments, like I said, they move them closer and farther apart. Makes it so that your, your eyes overlap or don't, which should be useful for 3D type stuff. So I guess what I probably ought to do at this point is take my phone, make sure it has Google Cardboard installed on it, and we will try to set up the Google Cardboard reader with it. Right here inside the app, it's looking for a QR code. There's not one on here. Okay, that's interesting. There's no QR code that I can actually find on the device anywhere. And they did tell me in their earlier email, there's not actually a magnet or anything, a button to control it with. So anything you wanted to do inside of the app, you're gonna have to open it up unless you're using a Bluetooth controller. So keep that in mind. Just see if I can get it working without it. All right, well, at this point, it looks like I've got it in there at least. And this does appear to be slightly adjustable. Oh, that's decently adjustable, that's nice. And yeah, I'm able to look around. That's working out pretty well. It's not 100% in focus, it's not perfect, but that's partially due to just my eyes being bad. But yeah, I can look around in it. I think I'm seeing some sort of a demo. Imagined worlds. But it looks pretty good. It's not entirely perfect. I can see black around the outside of it, but again, that might just be due to my phone. Aha, and I'm able to... There's Photosphere and my videos. Welcome video. And I can't select anything without actually opening it. Yeah, that's immediately where you get stuck. Hey, now I can see again. All right, just selected Google Earth. Wow. Yeah, this is really cool. Yeah, I'm able to look all around with this. I think the, the phone that I'm using with a OnePlus X may be having a bit of an impact on the performance of it, obviously, but that's not bad. That's not bad. It's uh, It feels like I'm sitting inside of a little box because there there is a little black square sort of around it or a curved square around it, but still, it does get the job done. And actually, I've got YouTube pulled up. Let's see how this works. Watching the Techno Buffalo VR 360 4K video. This is still very cool. It's uh, not easy for me to get it in focus. Uh, there's just not a huge amount of adjustment. I mean, I can take the, the phone in and out. I can move it, the eyes left and right, but my eyes are really bad, so I can't get it to where I can actually see. So it's actually a few days later, and I've been testing out the VR ShineCon, the Allegiant VR headset, for, like I said, a few days. I managed to get back in touch with the company, and they sent me the proper QR code to use with it. So the problems I was having with it not taking up the entire space, aside from it being a small screen, and with it not being entirely in focus, those have actually been addressed at this point. So while I'm using the OnePlus X with this, I'm able to see it clearly, I'm able to move around, and I do still have a little bit of a limited field of view, but again, the OnePlus X is a really small device, so that has a lot to do with it. The other side of that is, though, I've tried to use larger devices with it, things like the OnePlus 2 and the Asus Zenfone 2 and the LG G4. Anything larger than about 5.2 inches gets to be really, really tight, such that it's really hard to actually get it to close and stay closed, and the device just kind of wants to pop back out. So as long as your device is small enough to fit in here, you can actually have a pretty decent experience with the lack of the magnetic button to push things down. As long as you've got a Bluetooth controller or things that you can control just by moving your head around. I think at one point I saw like a VR cinema app that you can actually enter the movie and control where you're looking at everything using just the headset so you don't have to have sort of interaction like that. So it might be good for something like that. And because you have this little bit here in the front that pops off with the magnets, you could technically use this as sort of a Google Cardboard camera, although I have not tried that app out yet. So all in all, not a bad option. 
It fits comfortably. I like the padding on it. Once I got the proper profile, which I'll put up here so you can see it, I'll probably have put it up there earlier as well. That profile works very, very well with this. The biggest downers are just one, it does not have that button, and two larger devices are not gonna fit particularly well in it. I think I read somewhere that it works with up to 5.5 inch devices, but the ones that I've tried have not fit in here comfortably. And with that, that's probably gonna be about all for me for today. They did provide me with a coupon code. It's gonna be very limited use and very limited time, but I will put it down in the video description if you are interested. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks to Allegiant for sending this out for me to take a look at. Remember to hit the thumbs up button below this video if you like this video. Subscribe to receive all of my videos as soon as they become available. And we'll see you again next time. Effects. Google Now on tap. So when you hold that home button, you can very easily get some contextual information about what's going on. Most importantly, as far as I'm concerned, is the adoptable 